body. Thanks very much, Les Ken Carla. Minister, my question is very much in the same vein as Deputy Murphy's uh, in terms of the uh, seeking of uh, numbers for the uh, County Mead area. And I make no apologies for pressing the case uh, for County Mead because I see the pressure uh, that the division is under, where this year the Chief Supers had to pull the traffic core from the north of the county and deploy it in places like Ashburn because of the increasing threat. Uh, from gang lad and crying, from uh, Joe's operating in the drugs game. And so I look forward to your answer in respect of the numbers for the Mead area. Uh, Garda strength in Mead as of the 31st of October 2017 was 304, of whom seven are community Garda. There are also 16 Garda reserves operating in Mead and 30 Garda civilian staff attached to the division. Where appropriate, of course, uh, the work of the local Garda is supported by a number of Garda national units such as the National Bureau of Criminal Investigation, the Armed Support Unit, where appropriate in the context of what Deputy Castles has said uh, in, relation to, uh, in relation to criminal gangs, uh, the Garda National Economic Crime Bureau and the Garda National Drugs and Organised Crime Bureau. Um, as the Deputy will be aware, the Government stands committed to ensuring a strong and visible police presence throughout the country, including County Meath, in order to maintain and strengthen community engagement, provide reassurance to the citizens of County Meath and to deter crime in the Meath area. Uh, the Deputy mentions the Chief Superintendent. I know the Deputy engages uh, with the Joint Policing Committees in County Meath, uh, and it's reports from these committees that inform uh, the Garda Commissioner and his team uh, as to the appropriate level uh, of, of, uh, of recruits for distribution throughout the county. Uh, since the reopening of the Garda College in September 14, uh, close to 1,400 recruits have attested, uh, of, whom, of whom 46 ha have been assigned specifically to, meet, to the Mead Division. Uh, as I said earlier, last can call, uh, look forward to almost 200 uh, newly attested, uh, fully trained Garda uh, energetic, ambitious, uh, coming on stream between now and the end of the year, all of whom uh, will be assigned stations up and down the country. Uh, having regard to uh, the, the, um, the annual uh, retirements, uh, I expect uh, that by the end of the year, the Garda competent will be 13,500, uh, having regard to uh, retirements of, of less than 300 uh, to date. This year, I think we're running in the region of 260 to 70. First supplementary. Uh, Minister, thank you for your response. And this is the third occasion uh, that I've raised the issue of Garda numbers and crime related matters in County Mead with you directly in the space of the last month. And I fully appreciate that in our earlier exchanges, you dealt with the macro issues of Garda resources on a national level in your role as Minister. But I'm going to continue to press the case here for County Mead with you for a very simple reason. It has been left behind when it comes to the very core principle of the deployment of resources. And the figures for Mead clearly show that. And I have stated in my earlier conversations with you, I'm in here not trying to score political points with you, but articulating the real concerns of the Chief Super, Fergus Healy, who has stated his call for resources publicly and is crying out for assistance in County Mead in terms of the need for additional resources. I've brought the shocking incidents of crime two occasions to two different Garda commissioners this year at the Public Accounts Committee, conscious of the fact that they have the actual uh, legitimate uh, uh, power for the deployment of resources. But we need to look at this, and I'm seeking for you to engage with me in a fresh way and look at this with fresh eyes, because the traditional way of allocation resources by commissioners has not reflected the changes in settlement patterns. As a result, places like Navan, Trim, or Castle and Boy are left under-resourced, and our work in terms of the doll in creating the settlement patterns on the eastern coast has to then reflect the actual pressure that these places are under, and conscious of the fact that the traditional methods of resourcing Minister, is not doing the job. Ministers. I am um, listening carefully last can call it to what Deputy Castles has said. Indeed, it's not the first time that we've had an opportunity. I know, I, I know his concern uh, regarding the uh, manner in which the decision is made to distribute uh, uh, the Guard of Work personnel um, around me. But the reality is uh, that currently uh, there are 304 uh, members of Angarda Shia Khan in me, uh, an increase um, since last year. Uh, further increase since 15, since 14. Uh, in fact, there is a, as, uh, as high a number uh, of Garda members throughout County Mead now uh, as there has been uh, since 2010. Uh, and that was the year, of course, in which the Garda College was closed. Uh, but I do want to acknowledge the point he makes, and, and uh, I did see the publication of a report uh, uh, 
as far as County Meath is concerned. Um, and can I say that the distribution model that's used uh, takes into account a number of factors, including population, including crime trends, uh, and the policing needs of each individual uh, division. Uh, and of course, it's the responsibility of the divisional officer to allocate personnel within his or her district as appropriate. You'll, you'll have another minute. Thank um, you. Thanks very much, uh, Laskin Carl. Laskin Carl, I'm not a guard, I'm a politician. But I hear what the Chief Super, who is a professional, is saying on behalf of our county and saying it quite clearly. And I'm not disputing the progress that we have made. It's why I attended the launch of the consultation uh, paper on the process of the future policing in the country with Kathleen O'Toole and the Minister who spoke. And I listened clearly uh, to his words. But if those words account for something in terms of how the guards that come out of Templemore are utilised on the ground, we have to see them done in the best way. Because when we see the deployment on the ground, we do get results. But the threats of gangs and their wanton disregard for life is a very real threat in my county of Meath. Just last Saturday morning, we had the body of a young man in his 20s found dead in Dunboyne with a bullet through his head. And I saw the former Taoiseach John Bruton there in the gallery, and he lives in that village, and he knows the threat. And I know that my uh, colleague, local councillor Damien O'Reilly, articulated very well the fears of the local people in our county when that man was found with a bullet through his head uh, last Saturday morning, and the threats in our county posed by the ganglands that are operating. And so we are dealing with these types of high-level uh, crime experience in the city, we need to see the resources Come on, get for the counties like me to combat them. Minister, final response. No, I, I, um, I want to acknowledge the very strong and positive commitment of Angarda Shikana, with particular reference to the type of gangland crime that has been referred to by Deputy Castles. Uh, and I want to point to a number uh, of very significant arrests and successes in recent times uh, for, which, uh, for which our appreciation uh, of the dedicated work of Angarda Shiakana um, is well warranted. Uh, but I have to say that, that, uh, that, that using ratios uh, such as the number of Garda per head of population uh, are not always an appropriate tool to use when considering the allocation of Garda resources. They fail to take account of the fact that uh, crime levels um, can vary significantly among communities. Uh, but I wish to assure Deputy Castles uh, of the commitment in the programme for government uh, and the Garda Inspectorate at the request of the policing authority is carrying out a, a review as to the dispersal and use of resources available to Garda Shiakana in the matter of delivery um, of policing service to local communities. The authority has, has informed the inspector that the review should take account of many of the issues as adverted to by Deputy Castles. Uh, it will be comprehensive. Uh, including a consultative process with local communities. And perhaps I could invite the Deputy maybe to make a, 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 a submission to the Commission of Future Policing in that regard. Deputy uh, but I want the deputies, I wa deputies, we can I want this review completed in the first half of 2018, and I would be happy to engage further.